Good morning and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So we do this vlog and podcast every um, Thursday, sorry, it's Sunday, 8 a.m. London time. So let me jump straight into it. So one of the um, pieces of information we put out this week, um, which is the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. So at Zimmer and Peacock, a lot of what we do is um, we miniaturize, we sort of say blood tests. But really, if I was to define this properly, there's a um, recognized blood test panel out there called the Comprehensive Blood Test Panel. And when you look at it, it has sort of glucose on it and calcium and sodium and potassium and chloride, um, things like creatinine and bilirubin, for example. And these are all things that Zimmer and Peacock, we've either got them on our web store or we've done them in the past. And it's not by um, accident that when you look at many of our sort of standard biosensors, they're actually um, very reflective of the CMP or the Comprehensive Metabolic um, Panel. And this is because these are some of the most widely used tests in the world. You know, there is a movement in the world that people want to decentralize hospitals. They want to go towards um, so sort of off-site, at-home, point of care, whatever you want to call it, point of need testing. And so some of the early tests that got translated out of these um, hospitals were these um, CMP tests. And at the top of the list, there's glucose, and that's the absolute classic. Um, so at Zimmer and Peacock, um, this week, we did put some information out there about the CMP, um, the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. Um, and really just to kind of say, you know, these this is probably one of the most if not the most clinically run panels in the world. It generally consists of about 14 analytes that are tested in the blood. Um, and by the way, if you look at it really carefully, you'll actually fe see that Zimmer and Peacock um, has a lot of those tests um, available in, its, um, in, in our, in our off-the-shelf sensors. So just a quick introduction to the... Um, as I say, the CMP, the Comprehensive Metabolic um, Panel. Um, now, some other information from Zimmer and Peacock this week as well. I think this is actually relevant because I just touched upon the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. And now in the next breath, I'm actually going to um, talk about multi-channel microfluidics. Because one of the biggest questions is, um, you would get an inquiry that says, we understand that the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel is... Um, large bulky very expensive and only run in centralized hospitals how can we miniaturize it and you know make it into what's called a point of care device so some other information that we put out there this week as well which is super relevant is we were also showing people how we can make um parallel microfluidic cartridges so that people can actually test um these products in parallel um in a sort of yeah, in a microfluidic um, system, so there is definitely a um, technology out there that will allow people to, you know, take some samples and run um, parallel um, tests upon those samples. So it's probably worth looking at Zimmer Peacock and microfluidics. And our microfluidics, we can do things in parallel, but we've also been showing um, that we can also do these things kind of in some ways singularly. You know, um, and what I mean singularly, you can just make a glucose sensor or a lactate sensor or a creatinine sensor, but we can definitely do these things um, singularly um, as well at ZP. And we have these microfluidics in sort of many f um, flavors. I talked about parallel so far. We have what's called circular chambers above the electrodes. We can also have um, rectangular chambers above the electrodes and then chambers that have very small volume so that we can test essentially just very small um, volumes and now another important part of being a biosensor company is um, whenever you make a batch of um, biosensors um, there will be things like sensitivity and offset and from batch to batch you can end up with a sensitivity and offset um, that's potentially variable and that's just inherent in manufacturing especially when you're manufacturing something that's quite um, complicated. I love the fact that when you look at a biosensor, it looks very simple, but you know, there's a substrate there. You print materials on that substrate. You print um, these, um, you then functionalize these substrates um, with 
enzymes and antibodies and these could be several layers and then you can end up and putting microfluidics onto these substrates and that can you know add more complexity so at the end of it you can have a batch of um, sensors and products that look just like the last batch of sensors and products that you uh, shipped but in fact there's been some subtle changes and the calibration factors have changed well with this RFID tagging technology that we have we're able to capture those variant variations and actually embed them on a chip and put that chip with the sensor so the sensor can go out the factory door with um, calibration um, built into it so that is definitely something that we can do at um, Zimmer and Peacock um, we also I just put a, a little video out there this week um, really talking about the history of electronics at ZP because um, we've now been running for uh, this is like Zimmer and Peacock Limited is been running for eight years and in that time there's been a whole series of electronics you know and it it's kind of you know a company that you know a company that where you can grow you can keep yourself together there's a development and an advancement in the way you do things and so you know if you look at sort of the video that we put online you actually see that you know these are very breadboard very you know i don't want to say crude but you know put together electronics and these days obviously we've we've, got, we've miniaturized it and it's become very sophisticated um so we just put some a video out there and we talked through um the history of electronics which has probably sort of come to the point now where we're you know we have something called the z pot it's a set of electronics and we also have our uh, fish tag which is a miniaturized um, set of electronics as well and um some other news from zimmer pico this week um we do use an awful lot of enzymes in the um production of our products and so therefore we have a um, diagnostic enzyme service where we have actually started to develop and manufacture the enzymes ourselves and we can also offer this as a service to um, others so you're very welcome you know if clients have problems sourcing enzymes and zp can help them in that sourcing um something else that's very exciting is we've actually put out an adenosine triphosphate sensor this week atp um atp is a um, important molecule when it comes to um the measurement of well ATP is actually um, almost the currency of energy within the cell um, ATP is in quite an energetic state and therefore it can kind of shuttle energy around and when it comes I think it then becomes ATP to ADP which is adenosine diphosphate maybe even the monophosphate um, and that that transference or tra uh, of from ATP to um, ADP for example releases energy um, and essentially allow us the sort of you know the organism or the cell um, to have a source of energy so we're um, we have made a um, sensor um, for as I say for ATP um, this week so some other news from um, Zimmer Peacock for this week is um, we also did our webinar on Thursday so every Thursday 8 a.m. London time without hesitation we do a very, I would say, quite a technical webinar where we answer questions and I just sort of genuinely hope that that helps people move forward with their products, projects, um, research, etc. So we did do that this week and we talked about um, four things, pH in bioreactors, monitoring hydrogen peroxide, lactic acid in a fermented broth and biosensors for um, ATP or adenosine triphosphate. Um, this is just a little bit of fun news, but it was very nice. Abigail from the University of Plymouth um, joined us this week. Um, she's a PhD that's sponsored by ZP, and we were delighted to have her come along and um, essentially work in the lab with us and just get a sense of us. So thank you very much for that. Um, also sensors and biosensors for process industries. So at Zimmer Peacock, we do have the world's largest um, range of sensors and biosensors. Um, including glucose and alcohol and lactate etc and so we've actually been um, talking about those sensors um, and how we can use them in the process industries I mean process industries could involve biopharmaceuticals fermentations oil and gas fine chemicals energy power water desalination etc so anywhere where something needs to be 
So generally chemical or biochemical needs to be monitored, then ZP can be um, part of that um, solution. And then um, finally, um, we did have some inquiries about how to help some people with um, essentially their sales and marketing. So at ZP, we've, you know, we have um, grown quite quickly. Um, we do have, you know, we, we're, we're, we're a profit company. We're also described as a gazelle company. A gazelle company is a company that um, has grown rapidly. And so we've put together um, a page for marketing. And in, and in our marketing, you know, we kind of ask the question, and we, we do this now for others as a service. Who is a target audience? Who are you trying to speak to with your products or services? You know, what the positioning, you know, where do you sit in the market? Where, what are the problems that you're trying to solve? What content can we generate in order to get your solution you know, to the audience? You know, why should we do this? You know, is this a problem that's really worth solving? And then I would sort of finally say, you know, we have to write a plan and then execute against the plan. Um, so this really describes a sort of content marketing strategy, um, which we're able to do for others. So I'm going to sort of wrap it up that um, there and say, so this week, you know, at Zero Peacock, we started off by talking about the comprehensive metabolic panel the CMP. We've put a lot of information out there about microfluidics this week, which is also relevant to the CMP, the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. And um, because at Zimmer Peacock, we do have the capability of doing um, this kind of sensing um, in parallel um, and in microfluidics. Um, we've also talked about our ability to make enzymes and also our ability to um, with a new sensor called ATP or a sensor for ATP, and then also our marketing group as well. So what I'll say is I'll end it with this and say that if you have any questions on Zimmer and Peacock, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, if they're technical questions, then we'll probably end up answering them in our webinar, which is every Thursday, 8 a.m. Um, London time, and which is we always do without hesitation. Okay, well, thank